So what are the differences between a buy one, get one free promotion versus a promotion that gives a discount after a certain number of uh, consumption? Uh, so we assigned this problem of a hotel that is uh, trying these two offers. And one offer, uh, they're trying to buy one, buy three uh, hotel nights and you get the fourth one free. And then the other offer, uh, the, uh, after the second night, the next two nights are at a discount. So let's do the buy three, get the fourth one free first. And we are assuming that we have uh, two consumers here, Angela and Betty. And what I said in the problem is to assume that they're both staying at the hotel two nights and before any promotion, but that Angela is going to take advantage of the buy three, get fourth, but Betty is not. So notice that what I did here is a couple of things that I did. Um, I have the initial budget line for both of them. I try to make them kind of similar in the two diagrams. And I also try to give myself a lot of space between the, the second, the third, and the fourth, right? That allows me to do a lot more. The drawings of the indifference curve will be uh, a lot easier to do if I do that. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do the budget line first, and then I'm going to draw both uh, indifference curve after that. So the budget line with the buy three, get the fourth one free, uh, has a kink at the third night, and then after, the, after that, after the fourth night, it goes down with the same slope as before. And that happens also in the case uh, of Betty. It's a kink, and then it goes down to the, um, to the same slope. So now let's assume that Angela is going to actually take advantage of this promotion. Well, that probably means that Angela has a stronger preference for hotel nights that does Betty. So I can draw an indifference curve sort of like this one. And notice that if that is, an, um, if that is Angela indifference curve, then yes, when there's no promotion to stay in the hotel two nights, but when there is a promotion, she can actually get better off by buying that third night and taking advantage of that promotion of getting the fourth night free. So, so Betty will take advantage of the promotion and will in fact buy the, the third night in order to get the fourth one free. Now in the case of, I'm sorry, Angela. Now in the case of Betty, she's not gonna take advantage of the promotion. So what, what happens here is that you have to draw an indifference curve. The first one has to be above this point if Betty is not going to take advantage of, the, of that promotion. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to draw an indifference curve for Betty that the initial one stays above that particular point. There you go. Now, clearly, uh, Betty is not going to take advantage of this promotion because uh, she will actually um, not be able to achieve a higher indifference curve. So for this case, this is part A of the problem. Um, Betty doesn't take advantage of the promotion continue to buy two nights, and Angela does take advantage of the promotion and actually buy the third night in order to get the fourth one free. Now let's evaluate the, the other type of offer, the one in which the consumer gets a discount on the third and fourth night after buying, after buying two. We'll do that in a different video.